So this is where I have my breakfast in the morning um, and because Gandalf knows that I'm going to be in here today he's fallen asleep on my chair <laughs> but that's normally where I sit and I have a cup of tea and I can see out into the garden and it just is that little bit of natural light that helps me wake up in the morning and I like sitting next to my dresser because it's got lots of different things on there uh, memories from when I've been away and bits of um, tat <laughs> You might describe it as that but most pieces on here have got a little sentiment for me so I've got uh, my vintage teapot and if I stand and oops we'll just take the lid off you can see it's um all it's got a lot of crazing on and I picked this up when we went to a vintage fair and I went with my mum and it was ridiculous it was um a couple of pounds maybe and it's got a chip in there but i love it and it's a good pourer as my mum would say which means it actually pours nicely without splashing and i do like loose tea from time to time and i get mine from cup and saucer teas in chesterfield or northern tea merchants and i like a little bit of jasmine and it tastes nicer in a vintage pot true story <laughs> And it's resting on, let me move my giraffe, you'll see some themes in and around this dresser and giraffes is one of them. Um, it's resting on a chopping board. Now these were all made by Adam's granddad and it's just one of those, just one of those nice little things. Look, oh, how dusty. <laughs> That's just between me and you, okay? Um, and it, yeah, it's just another thing that it's nice to have family things, I think, on the dresser and it just makes it feel like a bit more homely. So these are some of the things that, that you might see when we do a Facebook Live on a Friday. And I chose the dresser for a background um, because it's interesting. Um, and, you know, if you get bored with me talking about jewellery, then you can just have a nice look at the backdrop and see what's on there. And it'll all have brand new meaning now, won't it? When I put these back on there, you'll know what each piece means. A little vintage pot, little trinket pot in my favourite greens on there as well. So I do love that one. And some nice bronzers. And these are a little present from Adam. I'm not wearing too much jewellery today um, and that's because I've been um, tidying in the loosest sense of the term, as close as I ever get. Uh, and I don't like to wear my jewellery when I'm tidying. I've got um, a very simple gold pinky ring on today. And I've got, I don't like not to wear any jewellery at all because it makes me, it's part of getting dressed for me in the morning. So I've got my, my choker and my locket on, but no bangles today, no rings, nothing that could get caught. Um, and what else on my dresser? Uh, one of my favourite plates, a hand-painted plate from Venice, where we went for our anniversary. And I think it's nice to travel in lockdown inside your house. Does that make sense? It's um, all of your memories. And I know it's not the trendy thing at the moment to have things. Um, and it's all sort of, um, you know, going towards being a minimalist maybe and uh, just having photos and having memories. But I do like things. <laughs> I am just old fashioned in that way. So lots of different memories on here, but just tangible. And they don't have to be huge. That's one of the things I like about jewellery, that you can have a memory in jewellery and it's small and wearable and portable. You can take it with you. It doesn't take up too much space. So this is my little dog and he looks a bit like Gandalf. He's completely fallen to sleep again now. <laughs> he did wake up shortly uh, ago and just sort of look at me and go, oh, really you're disturbing me but you know if you still must see what can you expect so a little dog and he was the topper on my wedding cake that my mum made for me 
and um, he just representative of Gandalf so we had a bride a groom and a Gandalf on our wedding cake and this is the Gandalf he's not marzipan by the way he is an actual figurine <laughs> so you don't have to worry I've been married a good long while to have that marzipan he's next to a little cozy cat I've got my candles on here this one is from the Peak District Candle Co one of my new faves and it's night blooming jasmine and I love candles I like to light them in the evening and it just makes everything feel a little bit more snuggly doesn't it? it's one of the nice things about winter I think and I've got so I've got my Peak District Candle Co I've got my little Yorkshire candle candle and this one is midwinter and it smells like a mansion house in the winter you would expect to smell in the rose gold pot as well I love that one and I've got my scent styling co candle and this one is from scent styling co's paired with range so you can eat this yeah you can't eat it <laughs> Don't, don't eat it. You can light this whilst you eat um, white meat um, and drink white wine. So their whole paired with collection is about lighting candles with food, which I just love. And this one is very, very gentle. And it's got that sort of apple blossom smell. So really nice and fresh. So quite a few candles on there. And... Um, I've got my book that I've been reading and I like to just read a chapter of my book in the morning. Um, Santa Montefiore, I've been reading. Um, I actually read that all in one sitting. So that's ready to go and be lent to my mum or my sister now. And it's the first one of Santa's that is quite, uh, it's quite lighthearted, a little bit comic. So it hasn't made me weep and normally her books so you can imagine me just sitting here having a good old week, but this one's actually quite funny. Um, I've got lots of little hanging trinkets, my little china teacups. And this little chap is my little piggy that I made at school. <laughs> and I'm quite proud of him, you know, he looks if any of you um, pop onto the comments um, and you need to say nice things about this pig because it's a creative endeavour, you know, a little pig money box. And um, he's got some pennies in there, which we'll have to do the old um, butter knife in the top to get out because he hasn't got a plug on his tummy. Well, nobody's perfect. So he's on there as well. So I'm going to take all of these things off now. I've just noticed that I've got my watch on there that's waiting for a battery and to put a battery in that oh my goodness we don't need a watch during lockdown really do we it's another thing perhaps that I'm a little bit old-fashioned about as well that I do often wear a watch rather than using my phone and I think that is coming from a jewellery background I've always worn a watch in fact a watch was my first piece of jewellery ever 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 do you remember the swatch watchers yeah I used to have one of those that's going back years and years and years and years so nice little I've got my tea set on there and vintage bits and bobs my camel is from Tunisia and this is the first holiday that Adam and I went on together and his little face look you'll notice that quite a lot of things on here I've chosen because they've got a cute little face <laughs> so they're all on there but again, it's all independent pieces that have been made. Um, Venezuelan sun god. And he was, I get asked about him quite a lot, actually. Um, even though I don't, I'm trying to think if you can see him when you're on Facebook Live. I think I might have swapped sides with him. So maybe you can't now. But he was one of the pieces that I used to get asked about all the time. So he's a Venezuelan sun god. And I bought him on the market. Somebody was making them in Isla Margarita. And that's when we used to work on cruise ships. So he welcomes the sun into my home and he sits just on there. So just a few little bits from my dresser. I thought you might like to know a bit more about the background that you see every Friday. 
and I'm going to take these off now and give it all a good dust and get ready for my new backdrop. waiting for the next backdrop that I'm going to put on and Gandalf is currently rooting through all the pieces that I've taken off <laughs> so I'm in two minds I might do um, I've got an idea for a backdrop that I, I want to bring to life so that's what spurred me to take everything off the dresser but I think once I've done that backdrop and I've tried it and done a couple of videos, these pieces are going to be going back on because, yeah, it's what makes it feel like home. So which do you prefer? Do you prefer the cluttered dresser <laughs> or the bare dresser? I've got to admit now it hasn't got anything on. Oh, I'm so tempted to paint it. No, for another day, I think, definitely. So if you want your dresser to look like a Madonna video, <laughs> that is my vision. Obviously without the daffodils, we'll just take those out. But come back tonight because it's going to look so cosy. It's night time now and I'm just about to light all of these candles and find out whether my vision of a backdrop of these white pillar candles with all the light blazing is going to come true. So keep your fingers crossed and let's see how it turns out. I am so happy with all of these candles. It's the backdrop of dreams. So soon when I'm talking to you about jewellery, we're going to have these beautiful flames in the background. I'm so happy it looks as I thought it would look. <laughs> 